Today we're running the Boston Marathon in one of the world's fastest shoes. Let's go. Here we go. First kilometer, we have the Adidas Adidas Pro 3. It should be a quick downhill. Let's see how we feel. The shoes are feeling good. We're approaching the first 1K. Nice and easy, we're at like a 650 pace right now. So the challenge here is, I haven't actually ran more than six miles in like the past five weeks. So hopefully these Adidas Pros can help me still set a decent time today. We'll see, hamstring feels good. Dealing with an injury the past couple weeks, so I think we'll be good today. We'll see how we feel. But the shoes are clean though, at the bare minimum. The energy's unreal right now. Shoes are feeling good still, no issues, but we're only two miles in. Here we go. Three miles in. The challenge here is I don't really know what to expect from a goal. Last year I ran 320 with very minimal training. We can hit sub 320 today in these shoes. That'd be an interesting thing. I think that's our goal. Sub 320. We're on good pace right now. Shoes are feeling good. The Adidas Adi Zero Adidas Pro 3 is a world record breaking race day shoe. This shoe is primarily used for marathons and half marathon distances, and it features Adidas's Light Strike Pro Foam Cushioning and full length energy rods. The Pro 3s have become something of an icon and a go to shoe for people that are chasing personal best times. In recent years, the Adidas Pro 3 was worn by Kenyan runner Amos Kipruto when he won the London Marathon in 2022. Also, Evans Chibet, the winner of the New York City Marathon, was seen running in this shoe. And the list goes on for other athletes that set personal best times wearing the Adidas Pro 3. This shoe has been one of the most popular shoes on the market, not only from elite athletes, but runners from all over the world have been wearing this shoe to set personal best times. And today, we're gonna see if it helps me run a faster time, even though I'm under trained going into the Boston Marathon. All right, we're about six and a half miles in. Legs are all right. My shins are getting a little tight, but I think my uh, under trainingness, or coming in under train, is gonna have an element here today. But we'll see. My strategy for the first 10 miles was to run at a sub three hour pace. So this is roughly a 650 per mile pace. And I was able to do that for the first six miles, but I started to notice that I was getting some fatigue and the heat was starting to set in. So miles six through 10 were roughly right around seven minute pace. And I was still moving at a good clip, but I started to feel some fatigue set in, especially because I hadn't been able to run that much over the past five weeks. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Mile 10. The legs are actually kind of hurt right now. Getting a little cramping here. Hopefully these shoes will help me run faster. So, this is the point where your legs start to cramp. You need ice pop. What's up, buddy? Here we go. Texas in the house. Let's see, buddy. I'm a It's really hot out. Not great doing this. We're gonna have fun. Maybe still hit a PB here. I'm ready to be in. The shoes feel good. The shoes feel good. So, you too, buddy. All right, we just passed Wellesley College with all the girls. Not gonna lie. My legs are kind of uh, fatigued right now. So, we're fighting. Uh, the shoes are pretty comfy. The only negative is that I'm getting a lot of water in them because I'm like pouring water in my body and they're getting kind of soaked. So, dry conditions are a little better. But we're moving. Here we go. Here we go. 16 miles in. We're entering the Newton Hill. Newton Hill. Legs are kind of shot. I love that. First Newton Hill. There we go. Let's see this here. This is one of the hills. Yeah. This hill is no joke. Look at this. 
That's what we just summoned. It. We're trying. I'm cramping right now. My legs do not feel great. So what happens when you don't run more than six miles. The Boston Marathon is known to have a ton of hills. Both the Newton and the Heartbreak Hill are known to be very treacherous between miles 15 through 21. And these are the moments where you're actually facing a lot of inclines and declines. So it's not only fatiguing for your glutes and your hamstrings, but your quads are also getting beaten down when you're running downhill. And I started to notice that I was feeling some cramping happening in my legs when I was going up through the hills. And honestly, my challenge was try not to stop during the hill and summit it before I take a break. But the hills in Boston are no joke. We summited! We didn't stop on the hill, but my legs are shot. The shoes are helping. Got a little extra lift there. As you hit mile 20 in a marathon and you're starting to work the last 10 kilometers or six miles, this is where you see a lot of runners start to face the wall. Whether this is a physical or a mental block, you start to see a lot of people enter the pain cave. And I think in these moments it's important to make sure you stay present where you are, focus on your foot strike and how you're feeling. And honestly for me, when I get to this point of the race, I try to keep my body moving forward, not looking back too much, and just taking one step at a time. This race is no joke. Here we go. Last four miles. Cramping, but we're fighting. How you feeling? You're fighting? You're fighting though, you're fighting. Here we go. Thank you. 23 miles in. Here we go. Here we go, Boston. Here we go. The city's helping me right now. Legs are turning though. Here we go. Here we go. Shoes are rocking. Here we go, finish strong, finish strong. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Here he is, final mile. Final 1.2. Oh, the laser shot. We're finished up. Hey, what's up? Keep crashing it. Here we go. Get fishing chip. Let's go. You got this. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. We don't stop when we're tired. We stop when we're done. We don't stop when we're tired. We stop when we're done. Unofficial time, three hours, 27 minutes. We didn't even, we, we didn't train that much. London, thank you so much. We didn't train much, only ran six miles prior to running this marathon. The shoes, certified. Big win, let's go. Stand of the shoes, they got a little bit soaked. But overall, we got it done. 327, I didn't, I didn't even train before this. Furthest I ran was six miles in five weeks, so. Major win. Happy about it. Time to rest up.